Biters. Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are having Firehouse Subs. I have the Italian, um, this is like the hot sandwich. Never had it before, so this is my first time trying this. Mm, that's usually what I used to get. Really? When I got that good club on the sub, baby. Turkey, ham, and bacon. You can't go wrong with it. And this. I have some pepperoncinis on the side and a pickle, and I have sour cream and onion chips. And this is a Fanta raspberry, y'all. Uh-huh. Yes, mm, yeah. That's the Miss Vicky jalapenos. Hold up. I was like, uh, <laughs> what? I gotta stop listening to your words roll off on me. The jalapenos <laughs> don't sound right. <laughs> y'all, and today we're doing Ask Murder Show, y'all. She sent some questions for Murder Show. Let me let me repeat her name. Is this um, the same person who sent the yes, questions to you? Yes, okay. yes. Free Watch Alexis. We watch Alexis, y'all. We gonna eat a little bit first, and then we gonna get to these little little bit questions. Wow, cheese. Yeah. That bacon looking a little burnt, though. Oh, it's all in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's take a moment to God to bless this food, oh. Lord. Thank you for this delicious meal. We pray that it be blessed and nourished into our mind, body, and soul. Amen. And amen. Have you ever had that one? Mm hmm See, I usually stick to the New York steamer. Y'all let me know what sandwich do y'all get when y'all go to Fry House Subs. Oh my God. I was trying to make my mind up. Do I want that one or this one? Yeah, that pepperoni. Mm-hmm. I haven't had, I don't think I've had an Italian sandwich since I started eating pork. This is amazing. Mmm. I can't believe they put this burnt bacon on here. <laughs> that was so nice too. Super sweet, smiling faces. Like really inviting, not, not acting funny. This white lady, um, she was an older lady. She um was like, oh my god, your shirt, <laughs> and she was just like, it's so cute, oh my gosh. Oh, really? Mhm. Mm I wasn't long quarantine faces looking at you strange. Mhm. Mm <laughs> mm -mm. It's so, mm. it's so a black person some love moment right now. I mean, <laughs> it was super sweet. It was genuine though. It wasn't forced or anything. But y'all, we got 1,200 new cases yesterday in Houston. So y'all, if y'all going to the club and to the bar, stop, okay? They trying to say 979 was like, um, they think this might be the second wave. Allegedly. Of course it is. Like, people are so dumb to think that it just went away. That's me. I don't really. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you see how you can be, um, yeah, I mean, that's not nice, you know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to be a better person. It's all right. Everybody slip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say it's all right. Everybody slip. But as long as we get back up. All right. Mmm. 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 Those peppertines are good. Mmm. I'm gonna try it on here. These onions on here, y'all, and this meat with this Italian dressing. 
Oh my gosh. I even let him put mayo on here. Mm. Mm. It's perfect. Because I, re I remember that they care over there and they're not like other places. Mm -hmm. I knew they was going to spread it on the bread <laughs> and I just squirt it on the meat. I knew it. I've never been there, but I can see their smiling faces. Yeah. They're really nice. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, this yeah. is amazing. Who that bite on that Coke? Mm. I'm telling you, they, they make the best sandwiches. Don't this they? is better than a New York steamer, y'all. I don't know. This one, Mr. Gibbons. It's amazing. You can taste that salami. Mmm. So good. All right. Who's been the, uh, <laughs> Who's been the biggest influence in your life? Somebody has influenced you. Probably my mom. I was about to say, most people say they mama, but I didn't think you was gonna say your mom. Really? Yeah, you know. I always been a good mom, always trying to, you know, teach me right from wrong and what I, always correct me when I'm wrong and trying mm -hmm. to guide me the right way. Yeah. Most definitely. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. He said his mom. Is <laughs> if you could travel anywhere in the world today, where would you go? And what one person would you take with you? Where would you go and who would you take? If it ain't me, I'm not going to get I'd probably go to Egypt. And of course I'd take you. Who else I'm going to go Egypt? With? Wow. Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. Why? Ever since I first seen that as a little kid, I wanted to go there. I don't know how to feel attracted to it. Really? Because of the, um... Not just the pyramid, the just pyramid. everything. Just... I'm gonna say statues. <laughs> um, you have to tell your darkest secret to one person in the world. Who do you trust in your life to tell that secret to? <laughs> Me, Ski. Okay. Biggie or Tupac? Oh my God. Come I already know now. what you gonna say. <laughs> wow, really? You asked me that? I already know what you gonna say. Tupac, baby, come on now. You'd have to be like a straight New York head from New York. Yeah. I'm from Jersey, same. It seemed like you, um, you connect with him. Is that true? I mean, who didn't? It's not like everybody did, you know what I mean? Mmm. He was one of the, uh, you know, outside of rap, you, know, you, you can turn the mic off, the song is over, are you still interested? Do you have anything to say? That's right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He was that yeah, when he other was. people wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Biggie really wasn't that. No, he wasn't. But he was a hell of an MC though. Mm. <laughs> Let's give him credit on that. Um, If you had to get rid of one rapper, and all their music, girl, you are a trip. <laughs> I love her. Oh my God. All right, let me finish it. If you had to get rid of one rapper and all their music, who would you choose out of LL Cool J, <laughs> Master P, or Snoop Dogg? What? Wait a minute. If you had to get rid of one rapper and all their music, which one is you? Oh my God. Snitch Nine, get him out of here, please. He ain't on the list. How is he no. not on the list? She gave you a choice. LL Cool J, Master P, or Snoop Dogg. What? Girl, you oh, violated. I would say Master P. Are you crazy? Man, I know he from Louisiana, but come on now. Shout out to one of those. What? That's a violation. Let me tell you something. What? Well, get, cool shout get rid of none of them. What? Those are all legends. You have to pick. Those are all legends right there. <laughs> 
No, I sir. would pick Master P because I feel like the I other two three of them. have more hits, like better, like classics to me. In my opinion. What y'all think? I love all three of them in a special way. Pause, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did that to me. Three of my favorites. Oh, that's three of your favorite? Yeah. What you like so much about Master P? Is it just because he's from Louisiana? Mm. Mm. His music when he first came out, like the Ice Cream Man album and the one after that, mm -hmm. it went hard. It was jamming, you know? Plus, you know, I like P, you know what I'm saying? I respect the hustle. Mm -hmm. So you ain't picked one yet. <laughs> I'm not going to. Can't get rid of Pete. Can't get rid of Snoop. Can't get rid of LL. Come on. But you have to get rid of one of them. LL was my first favorite rapper. Come on now. What is going on But you on have here? to get rid In order to get this $100,000, you have to get rid of one of them. <laughs> you got to get rid of one of them. Come on now. I, I, I can't. Mm. They yes. all have a certain special place in history. You can't get, erase either one of them. You're gonna change the head, you're gonna change the face of the earth. Oh my god. All right, how many tattoos? No, what was your favorite subject in school? Favorite subject? I don't uh, know if I know that, y'all. In high school, it was English. I mean, not English, mm -hmm. it was history. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Why, well, because I've watched the History Channel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was upon a time, it was Anything English, though. Anything history he loves. Like, well, I don't know why. English? Yeah. That was, I was always, I hated I English. was good at it, it was easy, you know what I'm saying? Whereas, you know, it got, I don't know, I was always good with the words. Yeah. <laughs> How many tattoos do you have? I bet you don't know. I have no idea. I know you didn't know. Most people know how many tattoos they have. So he doesn't know, but um, this is one, two, three, four. You got another one on the side, right? Five. You don't have nothing on your legs and your back, no, your mm. chest. Um, six, seven. You got one on your stomach. About seven. So I lost count because, like, the next, I went. This is like four different times. I got you know a word. I got another. I got the heart. And I got the forgiveness, and I got the, you know, it's four tats on the neck. Whereas it just might look like two. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm. The only one you got while you was with me is, um, wait a minute, you got that one, that one, and that one when you was with me, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Aaliyah or Beyonce? <laughs> she know you like Aaliyah <laughs> and Beyonce. You're I'm smart. Saying, I said it yesterday. I said it again. Beyonce has no competition. There's no woman that can walk the face of the earth next to her. <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me? That's me. We as talked about that. As far as everything goes, we talked like about that. singing, dancing. Yeah. And, okay, you're right. You she might had, be right. She had singing them. She had do everything. Yeah. You know what you really think about it? Either somebody has a really, really good voice and they can't dance with a lick. Mm-hmm. And, but Beyonce, she covered everything. And that joke could dance hard and sing even harder live. She sure do. While she dancing. Don't need no lip sync. Don't need no backup. You want us to leave some of the words in the background, Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> you know I can sing. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way she talks. Cause she still keep it Houston. I love that. People used to think she was just ghetto or whatever, country. Not ghetto, country. But you know, she just keeping it real, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with being a country. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. 
I know people like in the East area, and back in the day they used to call us Bamas. In Texas, Bamas. <laughs> um. The hell do that mean? That we country, and we not from the East Coast. <laughs> From Who called y'all that? In the, like, people that would come down, like for different events and stuff, like in Houston, like back in the day. And they like disrespecting calling y'all bamboos. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. So did came to our city. But um, what is your biggest regret in life? Wow. Yeah, we're not gonna. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. I know you wouldn't go. I know you wouldn't. That's so funny. Anyway, um, what would the title of your documentary be? I don't know. I have no idea. That's a good question. I stopped naming the project before I do it a long time ago. You know, when I was a young grasshopper, I would write the name of the song before I even write it. But then as I develop as a real artist, mm -hmm. I would let the song be born and then look at it and name it based off of what it looked like. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. You know, like how you how you really you know name a child. Let the child be born. Look at the child. What name resonates with that child? Okay. Oh, I have okay. no idea. Minister Society. Uh, no, no, no. What? It, I knew you was going to think of something. It would be called the one and only. The one and only? The one and only. <laughs> you know, this is my intro. You're now tuned in to the one oh, and only. Yeah. I was in the lobby with somebody the other day. I had played a game with them. Mm-hmm. And right at the end of the game, I clicked it to where I could hear him. Because usually I keep people on mute, but I clicked it to where I could hear him. Mm -hmm. And this one dude was like, oh my God, I can't believe I was actually in the lobby with the one and only, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw that. You saw that? Mm -hmm. What you mean? I was just playing. I wasn't even live streaming or nothing. Really? No, I think I saw somebody say it in the live stream. Yeah, my, I, I, I think I said it in the live stream. I think I said it. But I was just playing, you know, and I just, it was just, I was like, wow, he called me the one and only, you know what I'm saying? Not wow. murk, not murder, you know what I'm saying? The one and only. I liked it, that shit. I know yeah. you did. <laughs> Mr. Society or Poetic Justice? Mr. Society. <laughs> poetic Justice wasn't that good like that, you know what I'm saying? You can't like put Poetic I Justice know. to Minister Society. That was like a... That was I'm just not like gonna a, say that. That was just like a good, that was just a good, just like a regular yeah. movie. A Houston, you know? you know, a Houston. It wasn't no Houston movie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Poetic Justice, what, what, that wasn't down here? No. What was the one that was at your, um. That was Jason's Lyric. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> lyric, <laughs> Poetic, okay. Oh, Poetic Justice was, was with uh, Janet Jackson. I'm and thinking Tupac. of Jada. Yeah, and they was okay. driving a mail truck or something. It was weird. Like, yeah. I, I thought I was supposed to be a gangster in here. What is he, What is going on, John Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jaden's 18th birthday comes, and he wants you to make him your favorite childhood snack. What would it be? This is just, these questions are My really favorite good. childhood snack. Oh. I would have. It seemed like really thought through. I would have my grandmother, which would be his great grandmother, make him some of uh, these crackers she used to make. She would get some crackers and she'd put peanut butter on some, mm -hmm. jelly on others, cheese on some, uh -huh. potted meat on others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had a meat protein up in there. And uh, it was delicious. It was, you know, it, it was so fun and special, you know, mm -hmm. it wasn't nothing but just. Stuff you got in the cabinet, put it on some crackers. I love the shit out of that. What? That's a nice memory. You know, you outside playing and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You playing hard, ain't even thinking about eating, but you hungry. Mm -hmm. 
and your grandmother calls you, she got a plate of crackers for you with all of these. That's nice. Okay. If you could... Dang, my eyes. If you could only play one video game for the rest of your life, which game would you choose? Call of Duty. Call of Duty, baby. Why Call of Duty? That's how you play anyway, right? Pretty much. All right. Now, you're not really a basketball person. Not, I'm not all, not a basketball person at all. Not even. But not I really. think that you can pick this: Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant. Oh, wow. I, I'm, uh, I, I came really? up on Mike. I came up on Mike. Yeah. Michael Jordan, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, like. Michael Jordan is a beyond an icon. I was gonna say Michael he Jordan's is. an icon. Kobe's an icon too, but Michael Jordan is just how rich he's is just he? Just in another. It ain't even about money. He's just in I another just realm. Know. You know what I'm saying? I want to know how rich he is. Like, is he a billionaire? He gotta be a billionaire, huh? Probably he so. gotta be a billionaire. That's like the Jordan. I believe is the most popular shoe in the world. Yeah. Is it not? And they don't. You know, they almost two hundred or more. The most popular. He, and, but you know what? He could make so much more money selling Jordans if they wouldn't have them limited. You know what I'm saying? Oh. They always sell out, you know? You're right, yeah. It used to wasn't like that, though, back in the day. You remember that? They didn't. I, don't, I wasn't wearing them back in the day. I, didn't I mean, I wasn't either, but <laughs> I didn't ever hear, you know, them selling out and people having to stand in lines. And yeah. So what's the difference now? I don't understand. Yeah, wow. I, I guess they they do that to for the exclu you know to, to make it more exclusive mm -hmm. and special like you know ooh you got the such and such. Mm -hmm. Also, people be, will be yearning when they I come guess out. So, yeah, and cherishing them as you know. Mm. Boy, I'm full like a mother. Yeah, you? I want to finish it, but I'm like I'm full. Woo! It just hit me, Jesus. I don't I don't need to force it, and if it don't mm. fit. Don't force it. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> remember that song? Do you remember that no, song? No, I don't. Do y'all remember that song? That song used to, the type of songs be playing in Louisiana when you were a kid. If it don't fit, that is a don't shot. force it. Just relax and let it go. Stop it. I swear that's a song. What is oh the name of that God. song? Who sings that song, bro? Is that Johnny Guitar watching or something? I don't know who that is. Oh my God. If you could come back. As an animal, after you die, which animal? Dang, I can't see. Which mm. animal would you uh, want to come back as? What animal? What animal don't get messed with? I'd come back as a lion. Cause can't nobody eat a eat a lion, huh? Who eats a lion? Lion is the king. Nobody. No, somebody done tore a lion up before. Somebody. Oh, hyena. Yeah, enough of them. Yeah, but they can they can tear one down though. Oh, an elephant can kill a lion, and so can a um, giraffe. You know, if it's the but right no. day, I guess. You know. <laughs> lions gotta make lions. The male, the male sleeps for like. 20 hours. <laughs> 20. Why are you laughing? Because that's ridiculous. He sleeps like 20 <laughs> hours a day. He don't yeah. even hunt. The lionesses hunt. And then he what? come and he take over the kill and eat the food and then he leave the rest for everybody else. Are you kidding me? That's what happens? And then go back to sleep. But I've seen a male kill before. Well, for the most part, the females do the work. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> They do most of the work because they got the kids. They got the maternal instinct guiding them to, you know. Oh, to get some food for the kids because the man ain't going to do it. Uh, uh, uh. That's a stinking shame. What kind of man? <laughs> like, I'm the baby, so ba I'm basically, the they're just Whoever there. Whoever don't like it can go do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, all these women around here is mine. Oh, my God. <laughs> And they can just have, they just have kids with everybody. And all these kids is mine. Mm, mm, mm. If anybody's gonna be getting pregnant around <laughs> here, it's gonna be for me. <laughs> and it 
walk around with that arrogance and stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them daggone lions, let me tell you. The lioness don't even have that arrogance about them. Because you know you're big and bad and ain't nobody going to do nothing to <laughs> They're <it>. like, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what you say? Um, Michael Jackson or no, no, grilled cheese or peanut butter and jelly. Mm. Mm. Two of our favorites. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, right now, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that sounds good. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, not right now. But peanut butter and jelly, that be hitting the spot though. Peanut butter and jelly, I can't say. Listen. Yeah, when I want a sandwich, I just, I would like to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But you asked me this at night. I might have said grilled cheese, but right now, that peanut butter and jelly sound good. I make good soft white bread, it's mm -hmm. soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the most embarrassing story your mom could tell us about you? <laughs> I know it. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you mean you know it? I know it. I'm pretty sure there's lots of embarrassing stories your mom could tell. Yeah, I have no idea. And if I did have it, you know, you if I could, tell it. exactly. Like, why would I sit up here and tell an embarrassing story? What the hell? <laughs> 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 okay. Um, Michael Jackson or James Brown? James Brown, like some of James Brown's beats and even just his spirit, you know what I'm saying? Like his sh sh shit talking and, you know, like rapping a little bit, you know? He was like the godfather James of rap. James Brown would rap? Yeah, he's like the godfather of rap. I, he got I so, haven't heard that. So many, yeah. James <laughs> Brown, yes. Uh, a lot of his beats. Like one of my favorite beats of all time, just of any beat that any man has ever made is James Brown, Funky Drummer. Is when, you know what I'm saying, he mm -hmm. cut the beat and the drummer was just cutting up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. James is lazy, man. James got some songs, bro. Papa don't take no mess. James, I mean, James got some stuff, some soul. Like, I, I really... Uh, I, I can really see you liking him better than yeah, Michael. Yeah, Michael Jackson, I, you know, I don't... Michael, though? I was not a big, you know, into the dancing and all that. I, I never was wooed by Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I watched Thriller. You know, I was in front of the TV. Thriller? He, I was like this. You know what I'm saying? I was I was there for all the Michael oh Jackson God. moments when he, when he moved walked across the stage this. for the first time. And she, you know, I was there for all of that. But. Oh, my God. He gives he gives you excitement like nobody else in this world. Michael Jackson. Through the TV. I never got to see him in person. Never. Yeah. I, was, I had to turn the camera back on, but I probably would have fainted if I went to a concert. I'm so serious. I probably would have. I wonder how much a Michael Jackson concert cost. It. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Who knows? Probably Who knows? $500 to sit in the bleachers. I know it's probably more expensive than anybody. Than anybody. <clears throat> Everybody wants to see Michael Jackson. I don't care who you are. Young, old. Man, I, I'm just thinking, James Brown, boy, and I sit and listen to James' entire catalog one night, too. James, bro, is a bad man. This is a man's world, Lisa. Oh. oh, he got so many classes. So does Michael Jackson. Yeah, but it don't, hit, it don't get my soul up like that James. You know, I feel that James. I don't feel that Michael You don't like feel that. Michael Jackson's no. music? Mm -mm. I'm not, we're not on the same frequency. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 All right, come on. We got two more questions. For $10 million, would you rather have a thousand mice and roaches poured on you or a thousand snakes of all sizes oh, man. <laughs> for five minutes? Yeah, we're gonna have to go with the snake with the with the mice and, and and roaches. Oh yeah, that's what I would go with too. Mm -hmm. Cause I ain't no kind of Lord, just don't snakes. bite me. Please don't bite me. God. What's gonna bite you? The damn mice. They bite. Yeah. Hmm. 
They can. Where'd you get the nickname Murder Show? Oh, uh, it, it wasn't that. It wasn't a nickname. It became a nickname after I yeah. named the channel that. You know, that's what I came up for the channel. You know what I'm saying? Spice One had a song called Welcome to the Murder Show back in the day. You remember that? Him and no. MC8. Mm -mm. Yeah. Hmm. Welcome to the Murder Show. I was like, ooh, I want to say that. <laughs> you know? I didn't even know that. Gaming channel by shooting. Murder. Murder Show. It's a show. Made sense to me. Wrong my bell. I said, shit, I, I subscribe to it. I click on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look like it worked. All right. Well, that's the end of those questions. Thank you so much to Free Watch Alexis. Like we said, if y'all want to send more questions, just um, email. Email me. My email is in the description box. If there are any black owned business out there that want to. Um, you know, show off your product or, you know, whatever you have, okay? Email me, <clears throat> okay? Uh, follow me on Facebook, link in the description box. Follow me on Instagram at Yummy Base TV and our family blog channel at Yummy Base TV behind the scenes. And yeah, y'all, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share, share, share everywhere. And we will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You here? Bye, y'all. Yep, so a lot of stuff you just said. I know. You gonna keep adding to it? I know. No. You like, what the hell? I want, I Is told it? you I want to have like the um subscribe thing come in and like hit the bell and all of that yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, Why you don't when can I get that? Off YouTube. I want a cool one. I don't want that bullcorn that you sent me. I like, I just picked one. I didn't search for a cool one. You have like, to do that. Is that where everybody is getting theirs from? I'm like sure. Like the really like when they yeah, like that's where they, I get they come in from, with the with a with a sound and yeah. then they it's on the green explode screen. And yeah, shit. all like, that I stuff be all on the, that. all that stuff be on the green screen. So you got to put it in your editing software and then apply the green screen effect to it. It's not a game. It's a red screen.